Hi everyone, welcome to my channel International Storyteller. In this channel you will find true horror stories worldwide. These stories are for entertainment purposes only. In this video, I will tell the true story of the Virgin Ghost, also known as Jianyeo Guishan in Korea. The Korean Virgin Ghost is the spirit of an unmarried woman in Korean folklore and urban legend. They are also known as Malmyong, Son Malmyong, and Song Gaxi. In early traditional Korea, women were brought up with the idea that their life's sole purpose should be to serve their father, husband, and children. It was believed that a woman gets lifelong resentment and cannot move into the afterlife if she dies before fulfilling her responsibilities. It was considered that to them, dying a virgin was equivalent to their life being meaningless. Thus, in Korean folklore, unmarried young girls who die become haunts or evil spirits. They mainly target young girls of their age, harassing and harming them. They may also ruin the family and so are specially enlisted as vassals in their household. The spirit is often depicted as a woman wearing a white hanbok called sobok, the Korean traditional white morning attire with her hair down. Traditionally, married women tied their hair up, and since the spirit died unmarried, they left their hair loose and down. The spirit has a pale white face with dark circles, and a small amount of blood drips from the side of her mouth. Sometimes, they are depicted as shedding tears of blood, or being covered in blood. However, the Korean virgin ghosts were considered indistinguishable from humans, because of their neat appearance. Korean virgin ghosts are mainly known for haunting abandoned buildings, especially in hospitals, schools, bathrooms, cemeteries, lakes, dark country roads, or wooded areas. They start their act around midnight and continue until dawn. They always have long hair covering their faces with sullen features and are dressed in white. It is believed that people will know that they are in the presence of a virgin ghost when there is a sudden change in temperature and wind direction. They are known to haunt newly married couples and to haunt those who have caused them harm with rage and vengeance. They are considered to cause illnesses and accidents. Since ancient times, it has been thought that the resentment was very deep when a virgin died. There is a myth that says if anyone gets possessed by a virgin ghost, they will harbor strong resentment or that they will not be able to get married. For this reason, in the old days people used to fear and believe that a virgin would die and become a ghost. Dolls emphasizing the male genitalia were made of straw and put in a coffin, or dolls dressed in men's clothes and buried upside down. Then thorns were placed around the coffin and buried. The reason for putting a male doll emphasizing the genitals in a coffin or wearing men's clothes is to comfort them for making contact with men, even after they die, and burying the coffin upside down is to block the virgin ghost from coming out thoroughly. This part shows how much the fear of virgin ghosts in the civilian world was overwhelming in the past. There is also a male equivalent of the Korean virgin ghost known as the Korean bachelor ghost. It is considered that the Korean virgin ghost can only be eliminated by performing the ritual of exorcism or by soul weddings, which is a wedding held for the virgin and bachelor ghost couple so that their souls may rest in peace. By traditionally erecting phallic statues, virgin ghosts can also be made to move to the afterlife. Some of these statues can still be found in Hisindang Park, located in Samcheok. Shrines for the Korean virgin ghost may feature phallic carvings and sculptures and will have annual rites offering food and drink to the souls. What you probably don't know is that the true story virgin ghost actually originated from a girl known as a Rang who lived in the mid-1500s in the town of Miryang near Busan. The daughter of Miryang's governor was known as Yun Jiangok. Her nickname was Arang. She was a young virgin teen who had a nanny. One day, a man who was smitten with her bribed the nanny to bring the girl out on a full moon night to a place where he could approach her. When they got to the spot, the man jumped on the girl and attempted to rape her. Arang fought back against a man and as a result was killed during the attempted rape. The man then buried her body in a bamboo forest. After discovering that she was missing, the father tried to find her, but to no avail. At the same time, a rumor began to spread that she had left town with a young man which is considered to be a shameful act in ancient Korea. Father, overcome with grief, abandoned his position as governor and left the region. 
Not long after her father was replaced, the man who replaced him was murdered, and each man after him was murdered. Finally, a young man took the position in the interest of solving the series of deaths. One night, a rang appeared, and the man asked her what had happened. She explained how she'd died, and where her body was. The young governor listened and promised to give her a proper burial, and to establish a shrine for her. That shrine is still in the town of Miryang today. She also said she would appear as a butterfly sometime during the daytime, and fly around the head of the man who'd murdered her. After her body was found, proper funeral rites were given, and the man who murdered her was identified and punished. The shrine called Orangsa stands on the site of the old Orangjak, and every year a ceremony is held to commemorate Orang's fight to maintain her virginity against a rapist. The story has been taken to mean that those who don't, or can't, punish the criminals in society, should also be punished. Moreover, preserving your chastity is the most honorable of acts. The ghost is called the virgin ghost or Chianyo Guishan, and can represent almost any troubled spirit nowadays.